Josh here with Fast Fuel Systems. Today we're going to show you how to install one of our TSF 140, 220, or 240 G systems on your 6.7 liter power stroke. Of course, our system is backed by our limited lifetime warranty and comes with everything you need from fuel line, fittings, electrical, and bracketry to install the system on your truck. Now what do you say we get this installation started? Apply the supplied dielectric grease to the relay pigtail of the wire harness. Now install the relay into the relay pigtail. Install the relay cover over the electrical relay and make sure the bracket is sticking out of the top of the relay cover. Apply the supplied dielectric grease to the fuse holder, then install the supplied fuse and install the fuse cover. Crimp the ring terminals onto the battery positive wire and battery negative wire of the fast harness. Connect the red wire to the battery positive post and connect the green wire to the battery negative post. Locate a fuse that receives key on positive battery power. Remove the selected fuse from the fuse panel, then install it into the lower slot on the ADA circuit and install the supplied fuse in the top slot of the ADA circuit. That circuit will be powering the FAST system. Locate the single red wire from the FAST harness, then install it into the butt connector of the ADA circuit and securely crimp the connection. Now install the ADA circuit into the selected fuse slot and reinstall the fuse panel cover. Disconnect the factory supply and return line from the fuel tank. Now disconnect the fuel fill tube and fuel vent tube from the fuel tank by loosening the hose clamps and removing the hose. Remove the fuel tank skid plate. To disconnect the electrical connector on top of the fuel tank, it does help to lower the fuel tank to allow easier access. So remove the fuel tank straps, disconnect the water and fuel sensor, then disconnect the electrical connector on top of the fuel sending unit. Now the fuel tank can be lowered from the truck. Remove and discard the fuel tank module shield as this will no longer be used. Disconnect all fuel lines, remove the fuel module locking ring, then remove the fuel tank module from the fuel tank. When removing the fuel tank module, be sure that you don't damage the fuel level float or the fuel level float arm. Disconnect the sending unit connector from the fuel tank module, remove the hose clamps from the convoluted tubing, then using a utility knife, neatly slice the convoluted tubing and be sure not to damage the barb fitting beneath and remove the convoluted tubing from the fuel tank module. Now remove the OEM fuel pump feed harness from the fuel tank module. Using vice grips, lift and retain the springs of the fuel tank module. Release the locking tabs and remove the lower section of the fuel tank module from the module. 
Note the drill location for the next step. Using a 7 8 hole saw or step drill bit, drill the marked location, then be sure to remove any plastic burrs. Install 10307 into BHF 1005 and tighten accordingly. Install OR212 onto BHF 1005, then install the bulkhead fitting into the drilled hole of the fuel tank module. Apply red Loctite to the threads and install BHN 1005 and tighten using a pair of pliers. Be sure to compress the O-ring, but not to over compress it. Install STF-1001 into FL-1007 with hose clamp HC-1001 and tighten accordingly. Using a tape measure, measure from the bottom of the fuel tank to the top of the O-ring sealing surface and note your measurement. Compress the fuel tank module to the noted measurement, then mark and trim FL-1007 to length. You will want a quarter inch to a half inch of clearance from the bottom of the fuel tank module when it is compressed to the noted measurement. Using grease, apply it to the bulkhead fitting, then install FL1007 onto the bulkhead fitting with hose clamp HC1001. Tighten the hose clamp accordingly. Now verify that you have a quarter inch to a half inch of clearance when the fuel tank module is compressed to the noted measurement. Using grease, install FL1008 onto the two hose barbs that are closest to the bulkhead fitting. This will block off fuel from flowing out of the fuel tank as these ports will no longer be used. For 140G kits, install FL1006, and for 220 and 240G kits, install FL1009 onto the OEM fuel feed barb. This is where the fast will return its fuel and air back to the tank. Using grease, install the remaining section of FL1006 onto the OEM engine return barb. Reconnect the fuel level sensor and secure all tubing together with a provided cable tie. Be sure that still allows free up and down movement. Guide the fuel level float back into the fuel tank and reinstall the fuel tank module. Be sure to install this in the proper orientation. Reinstall the fuel tank module locking ring. Using grease, install PL1058 into FL1058 and push the fuel line until it is properly seated. Using grease, install the 90 degree quick connect fitting into FL1002 and secure with HC1001. Tighten the hose clamp accordingly. Install PL1058 onto 10307 and tighten accordingly. 
Be sure that you do not damage the fuel tank module while you're tightening this fitting. Reinstall the three factory quick connect fittings shown here, then install the supplied quick connect fitting onto the open port. On the fuel tank module electrical connector, cut the two 10 gauge wires and remove a quarter inch of insulation. Install LR1001 onto the exposed wires and crimp the butt connector securely with a pair of wire crimpers. While guiding the fast lines over to the passenger side, reinstall the fuel tank back into the truck. While the fuel tank is still partially lowered, it is easy to reconnect the electrical connector on the fuel tank module. Place the fast system in a vise, preferably with soft jaws, then install the 10302 into the T port and tighten accordingly. Install 10300 into the E port and using a 7 8 socket, tighten accordingly. Place the three WA1001D spacers onto the FAST system, then install PBR2001 with the supplied quarter inch bolts. Using rubbing alcohol, clean the isolator surface of OB1001. Then remove the adhesive backing from RS2003 and install it onto OB1001. Apply firm pressure for 30 seconds to ensure a secure bond. Install OB1001 onto the passenger's side bed mount using the supplied 14 millimeter nut and washer. Install PFB2002 and RS2001 onto OB1001 using the two supplied half inch bolts and washers. Tighten accordingly. Assemble the two fast brackets PBR2001 and PFB2002 using isolator RS2002, the four 3 8 inch bolts, nuts, and washers. Secure LRB1001 to the driver's side frame rail with the two supplied self-tapping screws. Then secure LR1001 to LRB1001 with the two supplied number four screws. Install the fuel line heat shield over each of the three fuel lines that are routed over the exhaust system. For visual purposes, this step is shown off of the truck. Route FL1058 to the T port of the FAST and trim accordingly. Now using grease, install PL1058 into FL1058 and install that onto 10302 and tighten accordingly. Route the FAST return line to the PL2003 on the return port trim accordingly, then using grease, install FL1002 onto PL2003. Install a PL2003 into the remaining section of FL1002, 
Then connect it to the E port of the FAST system and tighten accordingly. Route the fuel line from the FAST E port to above the fuel tank module, then install PLB1212 into FL1002 using grease. Then connect PLB1212 to the OEM engine supply line, as you can see in this picture. Apply thread tape to each QC4600, then install them into the 10305 and tighten accordingly. These will be used to bypass the return line from routing through the factory fuel filter housing. Now this fitting assembly can be installed into the factory return line quick connects as shown. Now apply a thin layer of engine oil or grease to the fast filter o-rings, then install the fast filters onto the fast system and be sure to follow the diagrams that are on the filters to put them in their proper location. The filter nipple o-ring will go above PF3001 or the extended length filters PF3001XL. Now prime the FAST system and check the FAST system for leaks. For a full priming video, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Be sure all FAST hoses and wiring are neatly secured with cable ties. Now if you have any questions throughout the installation process or to find an authorized FAST dealer to get your system installed, please don't hesitate to give our technical service department a call, they'll be happy to help.